All right, so I have Clorox mold and mildew remover right here. It says plus Tylex in here. It contains bleach. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's chlorine bleach, but it is some sort of bleach that will whiten some of the mold and mildew that is on some of the uh, tiles. So I'm going to use this, and the main purpose of me using this is to get rid of these stains right here, you see that right there? It's mold, mildew, whatever you want to call it right there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that better. So all of this right here, I want to get it white to how it was uh, when it was first uh, installed right here, okay? So when it's clean. And so that's the reason why I bought Clorox Mold and Mildew plus Tylex, which contains bleach. It says that it kills 99% of mold and mildew. Uh, which is great, but I just want it white. If the bacteria, the mold and mildew want to live, that's fine. Just as long as it looks clean, I guess. All right, so I'm going to get rid of those. It has like a sort of brownish color. I used a different product on here, and that's what it brought me to it. So I got this in hopes that it will actually whiten it. Now, right here it says Tilex works on glaze and unglaze ceramic tile, grout, tubs, shower, shower doors, vinyl curtains, fiberglass, counters, sinks, and plastics. All right, so it says right here for the directions for use, it says, um, of course, read all of these instructions right here because you want to read uh, the warnings and instructions and follow it according to the manufacturer's instructions so you don't harm yourself and you can use this product properly. So uh, important that you read that before you use this particular product. Now, I'm just going to go to the brief instructions right here. It says, uh, to disinfect and kill mold, mold and mildew on non-pore service. Uh, says, let me get down a little bit so we can read this a little bit better. All right, so it says right here, it says, turn nozzle on, spray surface until thoroughly wet, let stand for five minutes, and rinse. This product kills salmonella, staphylococcus, and a whole bunch of other nasty stuff. It says to remove mildew stains, which I am trying to do right here. It says spray six to eight inches from surface until surface is thoroughly covered. Allow foam to deeply penetrate the penetrate mildew and problem areas. Wipe with wet sponge or cloth and rinse. Heavy mildew buildup may require longer contact time. And I think that's really important. I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer than the six to eight minutes that it's recommended because I want this thoroughly white. Okay, so I'm going to let it sit a little bit uh, longer. It says, heavy mildew buildup may require longer contact times or two cleanings. So I may do that as well. It says to kill mold and mildew on hard, porous, hard porous surfaces such as grout and cement, spray surface until thoroughly wet. Let's stand 10 minutes and rinse. Rinse immediately after use on rubber, plastic, and vinyl. Avoid prolonged contact with metal and porcelain as this can react with these materials and leave a rusty stain. To spray every drop, tilt bottle uh, at a downward angle while spraying, okay? So that's like if you're down to the bottom, they say tilt it because that may be an issue that they had. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and use this product. Now it's important that you read the instructions yourself and not just rely on this video uh, so you know how to be safe with this product, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the nozzle on to the grout just to get it super white. It said that it may use more than one time. So I'm gonna just spray this, get really up in there, make sure that this gets white right here. All right, I'm gonna get some of the tile right here. That looks like it needs to be white in a little bit. All right, it has been about 10 minutes and I'm coming to check and see how well that it's clean. And it looks like it did a pretty good job on the back side of the grout right there, or whatever you want to call that filler right there, but it looks as if there are some spots that it did not totally get white and clean, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and reapply this. It says try to reapply if it doesn't get done the first time, but it looks like it did a pretty good job at getting white some of the grout right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this right here, and I'm going to apply 
more solution on to the grout just to get it super white. It said that it may use more than one time. So I'm gonna just spray this, get really up in there, make sure that this gets white right here. All right, I'm gonna get some of the tile right here. That looks like it needs to be whitened a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep on doing this a little bit. All right. Remember, do not get the metal because it may damage the metal with this product as the manufacturer says. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back in an additional 10 minutes to see how well it's done. All right. All right, so I reapplied the solution on here, the Tylex, Clorox plus Tylex mold and mildew onto the tiles to see if I can get it white again. You can see it did a fairly good job right there, especially with the reapply. However, there is one spot right here. For some reason, it is not completely white. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but overall, it looks like it did a pretty good job with a couple of spots that just did not uh, cooperate. Uh, but overall, it worked pretty well. Now it says I'm gonna, I'm supposed to take this and rinse it or take a cloth and then uh, go over the areas with a cloth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So to wipe it down, but I actually have a bucket right here. I have a bucket right here that I'm actually going to use a method that I call pouring water on something. All right, so I'm going to use this method right here, where I'm going to just going to go and take some water, fill this up like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and just come over these areas and really get a good rinse of the product, rinse it out pretty well. And I think this does a better solution, a better solution than just taking a wet rag and wiping it up because I added a lot of solution to this to get this white. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to just rinse it, pour it on the wall, just like that. I think it does a fairly good job at getting most of the product off of the tiles and perhaps getting the smell away. So there is somewhat of a smell, a chemical smell that comes along with this as with most products would have. And I find that this right here is the best way to get rid of it. So overall, it did a really good job with some spots where it just did not come clean. Perhaps I'll add another application to those spots right there in hopes that it will become as white as some of these sides right here where it actually came pretty white. All right, I hope this was helpful. This is Clorox Mold and Mildew plus Tylex in here. Thanks a lot for watching.